because sometimes what I like to do is go into the car and then go to the gym. Good morning. So this is where I work. Well, some days. I actually work all over the place. But today, and for this week, this is where I've been working. Out in the South African, well, semi-bush. It's still surrounded by civilization, but it's cool. And we have a, um, a runway as well. But this video is not about where I am. This video is about the time that I was searched on my person and in my car for weed. And I did have weed on me and I got away with it. This is that time. Now, what you need to know about me is that cops... I've had a lot of interaction with cops and it's a lot of weird things have happened as a result. I don't know if it's all worthwhile to put in their own stories, but this one is. This one just because it's a fun little thing that happened. So, I had spent the day, I spent the week working hard. So I decided I was going to award, reward myself with a joint. So I went and I bought the joint at one of those stores that is on the side of the road. I was just enjoying this thing, having a good time. Uh, it was prox, I think it was around midday, maybe just before midday, or maybe it was after, I don't know, but it was in the daytime. I smoked it in the car, as I do. And then, of course, everything was smelling of weed. So my car was smelling of weed, my um, me was smelling of weed and normally I have a, a spray can in the car and I have mint gum because sometimes what I like to do is go into the and then go to the gym. Obviously I don't want to hit the gym up and make the whole place smell of weed so I then cover myself up. And one time, just a, a tidbit, another little mini story in this. The most recent time I did that, I wasn't sure how I smelled so I, I was deciding how I was going to attack this and I decided I was going to stop someone before I went in the gym Someone that was coming out is gonna stop them and I was gonna say hey, do I smell like weed? back in the day? I would have not done this. I would have been too afraid to do this, but Now where I am now I've, I, I keep pushing myself more and more out of my comfort zone because we still a, It's still a thing topic that if I talk about it too openly Sometimes I get a little bit um, insecure about it uh, because there's still a lot of judgment behind the topic. That's why this YouTube channel is a big step for me. And this dude was coming out and I literally stopped him and I said, Hey dude, do I smell too much like weed to go Back in Back in the day, even if I had attempted that, I would have fumbled over my words. I would have been, you know, nervous. I would have got it done, but I would have been a lot nervous. This time, uh, I've started attacking life a little bit differently because I started seeing ways to do things. That, that's a complicated um, process that I'll have to explain later when I can get better words to, to explain that stuff. Because eventually this channel will also incorporate like different ways of healing uh, and things like that and, and um, epiphanies that I've had. But for right now, I'm happy with the story. So I stopped him, I said that, and he, he literally got, does this. <laughs> and he goes, and then he looks me in the eye and he goes, you're good, man. And I, and I was like, what a homie, dude, you know? And that pointed to me that, um, why? Why are we so afraid about just talking about stuff and doing stuff like that, having interactions, even if it's an interaction about something that we would normally not want to interact about? Do it. Let's see what happens. I mean, this dude was a, an, a, a G, you know? What a, what a dude. Uh, uh, he just looked at me and goes, you good, bro. And I'm like, ah, oh, thanks, dude. <laughs> It was a nice moment. Anyways, back to the current story. On this drive, I was already picturing. I wasn't just imagining or thinking that the cops were going to pull me over. I was picturing it. I was like, ha, huh, I wonder why that picture is so vivid today. So normally when a picture like that comes in my mind, sometimes I worry and I, I fret over it and I start, um, I start paying attention to things, trying to, um, trying to get things around. There's just a, a student has arrived. So I might have to take this a little bit further away. What happened this time was the picture came into my mind. I was like, huh, okay, if that happens, that happens. And I felt completely fine about it, but I was also pretty sure that it was going to happen. But because I felt so fine about it, I, I was doubting that it was actually going to happen. I, I didn't think it was going to happen. I had my windows down. I always had my windows down. I always blasting music. So of course I'm already making a scene. Now with my windows down, the cops came next to me. There was traffic on both sides. So they, they were basically stopped next to me for a second. And of course, they could smell the weed, right? So they heard the music, they saw me jamming, and they smelled the weed. I'm pretty sure. Maybe it was just the music. I don't but, know. But, um, holy shit! Look at the spider web! Jesus! 
No freaking ways, dude. I'm not messing around here. But then they passed. So then I thought, okay, so that's not going to happen. And then I drove away. I drove quite away, like, like maybe at least 200 meters away. And then they were screaming their sirens at me behind me because I hadn't noticed them. Apparently, they were on my tail for a little bit. They must have been because they were like wailing and yingy. We're here. Pay attention to us. So then I pulled over um, next to the robot, the traffic light. I pulled over and I remained calm. I was like, huh, cool. I quickly hid my weed in a slot in my car. And I was just like, whatever happens, I trust that the universe has my best interest at heart. And the way I saw it going was the cops would pull me over, they wouldn't find the weed, everything would be fine. So why was I stressing about it? I wasn't going to. So I pulled over, I maybe fretted for like two seconds as, as I noticed them. And then I just calmed myself down, put the weed in the spot. I was like, okay, let's see what happens. They pulled up next to me. They started, they, the first main dude, the bad cop, got out and started being intimidating. Uh, and saying things like, can I check you? Can I check your car? So I was like, yeah, dude, come and check me. So he did a search on me on in the middle of the road, on the side of the road. Uh, then he's like, can I check your car? I said, yeah, you can check the car. Then the other guy gets out, the good cop gets out and starts making conversation. He starts noticing what's in my car. I open my car for them, willingly, obviously. So they start searching and they keep finding random shits that all my friends have, like the Vila tubes, Velo tubes. Uh, the tobacco stuff, sach sa sachets, and other, other random stuff like that. They then asked me, do you smoke weed? I said, yes, I smoke weed. What a dumb question. You can smell it on me. They then said, do you have weed in your car? And I said, no, I don't have weed in my car. So <laughs> I did lie to them. But why was I going to admit that to the cops, right? All they are looking for is bribes. I wasn't going to give them money. So I was like, no, I don't have weed. Um, check the car. And then they were checking the car and I was like, if they find it, that's fine. I'll just have to do what I have to do. But, um, but I think things will work out. And it did because they, the one dude was busy searching the whole freaking car. I was busy talking to this other dude, having actually a really lacquer conversation with him. Lacquer, by the way, is just like good. Uh, it's like Afrikaans. So Afrikaans is a language here in South Africa. And it was a very good conversation with him. I mean, I saw, told him about my job. I tell, told him how I fly drones. I then got some drones out of the car and started showing him these things. We talked about fixed wings and multi-rotors. I also talked about how I had trained police and stuff like that. So, um, so obviously they knew that there was an element to me that was more than just the, the, the party boy that they were seeing here. They obviously didn't find anything. They said, okay, you're good to go. I said, ah, oh, thanks guys. And I was shocked, man. I knew I would be okay. I knew it would work out, but I was still shocked because I, guarantee that i smell of weed and i guarantee that my car smells of weed so the fact that they were just okay to let me go i i'm very grateful for it that's what i am so that's the time that i was searched for weed when i actually had weed and nothing happened because of it <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for liking subscribing leaving a comment let me know if you've ever been busted for anything like this before Maybe even just by your parents. I know some parents are very hectic about this stuff. And some friends have told me some funny stories about their, the times they got high and had to hide it. But they were so high they didn't know how to hide it and things like that. Like that's very funny stuff. So let me know in the comments if you have something like that. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.